So if we can identify uh, electron donating groups, you also need to identify electron withdrawing groups. Remember that these are our meta directors and deactivators. So um, I'm going to once again draw resonance form number eight. as an example of, okay, this is the resonance, one of the resonance forms we're trying to interact with. And as an electron withdrawing group, we're going to destabilize this. So what sort of R groups would destabilize this carbocation? Well, it turns out about any carbonyl is a good choice. That's going to de destabilize that, that carbocation. So if we had an aldehyde attached to the ring, notice that this carbon has a partial, this is a polarized CO pi bond. So that's going to have a partial plus. Same thing if we have a ketone attached to that bond to the ring. We also have a partial plus. Same thing for an ester. We're going to have, I'll make it a methyl ester. It could be almost any ester. We're going to again have a partial plus on that carbon. And that partial plus is going to destabilize this carbocation over in resonance form number eight. Another uh, R group, now this isn't a carbonyl, but it's the exact same idea if we have a nitrile on the ring. This is a, a polarized carbon-nitrogen triple bond, and therefore that um, carbon is partial plus. Lastly, um, a really common ortho meta uh, I'm sorry, meta, pair, meta director or deactivator is a nitro group. And there's n nothing partial about that. Uh, charge on nitrogen. It's a formal positive charge. It's very destabilizing to the uh, the carbocation intermediate that we drew in resonance form eight. So these are all really strong electron withdrawing groups, and they are meta directors and deactivators of the uh, of the aromatic ring during an electrophilic aromatic substitution.